Hey, um, I just wanted to do kind of, not an update video, but like, I think I talked about this in another video, I'm not sure. So, I've been hanging out with a co-worker, and we, well, he took me home one day last week, because I'll say last week. We, like, we've been talking at work or whatever as, like, friends or whatever, because, like, we, you know, we both hate the place where we work at, and we both hate, basically, like, hate everybody there except for, like, one or two people. And so, I, he worked, I think, I was on yeah, I think it was a Wednesday. No, it was a Tuesday. Um, that Tuesday he, we were working for like a little bit with each other, and then he went home, and then I guess the power went out. And obviously we have electric garage, 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 garage. So with the power being out, they couldn't come and get me. So I had to text him and be like, "Hey, are you busy around seven? He's like, "No, why?" I was like, "Can you?" possibly come get me from work we have no power and we can't get out of ours but he's like yeah sure so like he picks me up and takes me home and I was like oh, okay like we were like we were just like talking the way home or whatever and I was like oh okay like this feels nice <laughs> so flash forward to the next like we talked literally all night like, usually when I come home, like, I eat, and then I nap. I didn't nap. I was, like, talking to him the entire night. And we stayed up until, like, 3 o'clock in the morning talking to each other. Hence when I found out that he actually had, like, a crush on me, and that he's been wanting to kiss me for a while. Okay. Flash forward to the next day, Wednesday. So, we're talking, and, um, he's not working, so he has the day off, so we... You know, we talk, and then he comes to see me on break, which, like, is really cute, because, you know, I've always wanted, like, a guy that I was supposed to, like, come see me at work on break. Um, obviously, you bring food, but I'm not going to be like, hey, you're, you're my co-worker, hey, bring me food. Like, no. Um, so, we sit in his car on break. Because, like, literally, like, the break room is between the men's room and locker, and the meeting room. I don't want to sit back there. So he's in his car, and it's nice out, so, like, I need the fresh air. And he leans over, and he gives me a hug. Because, like, I was like, can I get a hug? Like, I was texting him, I was like, I want a hug. <laughs> and he's like, okay. Because I'm a hugger, like, I like hugs. <laughs> Surprisingly, because, like, I hate people, but, I, like, I like hugs. Like, I need some more affection, I like. And so he hugs me. And then he kisses me. And I was like, okay. Like, at first I just sat there, like, okay. And then I just, like, went with it. Just, fuck it, why not? At this point, I don't give a damn. It's like, I'm getting affection, I don't give a fuck who the fuck it's from. It's from a fucking co-worker or an ex. I don't give a shit at this point. Um, and this makes me sound like a hoe, but whatever. Um, that's it. So yeah, so we like, we sit in this car and, um, and you, know, you know, we're just talking on break. Um, after we kiss, and I was like, I'm mad at you, and he was like, well, I was like, because I wanted to kiss you first, because you said that you weren't going to have the ball to do it, so I wanted to surprise you, he's like, oh, well, tough luck, it's like, so, like, and then I get ready to go back to work, and he gives me another kiss, and I'm just like, and then he picks me up from work, so, like, for, like, the rest of the day, like, I'm all, like, in a good mood, which is weird, because I'm never in a fucking good mood, especially at work. So, like, I walk in with a smile on my face, and they're like, like, nobody really asks, but they just, like, have, like, that look like, why are you, of all people, smiling? So, he comes in because I told him to come in because I had change. And this girl that we worked with, Kayla, she was so happy to see him. 
One, she's never had, she's like me, she's like never happy to see anybody. Never has a smile, like nothing. But she's like, happier than shit to see him. And like, I honestly got jealous. Like, we were, like, we're, you know, we're not dating at this point. Uh, but I got jealous. I got so fucking jealous. Like, I literally just wanted to turn around and beat her ass. For no reason. All because she was, like, so happy to see him. I'm like, what the fuck? Usually, like, if I like somebody, I'm not jealous to the point at, you know, first. Until, like, we start getting involved. Like, the fuck? <laughs> but anyways, so, we leave. And we go... To all cop. Um. So we like we just like walked around there because like I haven't been there in like a long time, and it was cold. It was really cold. So like we used to just sat there. Um, there's some like weird dogs, and like they just wanted nothing to do with me. They liked him. They wanted nothing to do with me, which is weird because dogs fucking love me, but they just want, oh, they're like, okay, bye, um, um, so after that, we went to, like, this, there's, like, this church, and then there's a bridge where, like, people go, so we hung out underneath the bridge, and then... I got tired of being near the water and, like, hearing the cars going over. So we sat by, like, there's, like, this little park there. So we just sat in the park and we just, like, were talking. And I'm like, you know what? I'm too cold for this. So we got in his car and he talked for a bit. And then he took me home because he had to go to work. And then we were talking all night. And that t day I didn't get a nap either. I got like a maybe like a 10 minute one I think not even um because if he's working night shift like he talks to me the entire time but like if he's working like mid shift during like the day he you know, he can't really because night sh night shift is like dead as fuck and trust me I know I did one um so the next day, which is Thursday, we hung out, like, literally all day for, like, almost, like, 1 o'clock in the afternoon to, like, almost 12 o'clock at night. Um, we went, well, we went to his house because he had to finish something for school. So, like, I sat there and I played with his dog, who is now my best friend because, like, that dog loves me to death. Um, while he finished his, um, project for college, and then his dog did not let the, fat, like, she, he tried, like, he tried giving me a hug, um, Brandon, not his dog, because his dog, Luna, obviously, it's a girl. he tried giving me a hug or whatever, and, like, she started barking at him and, like, oh, like screaming at him, he, like, gave me a kiss, and he started, like, she started screaming again, it was, like, hilarious, like, she did not want, she's, like, that's my best friend, you leave her alone, she's mine. It was adorable. Um, and then we went out to eat. We went to Denny's. And then we went to the mall. I went shopping a little bit. I got slippers, a video game, and a bra. Um, and then we went to Rocky's, which is like a cheap version of Dave Buster's. We went bowling. For an hour and then we play video games and we walked around well we went to Sephora because I wanted to show them like hey this is my realm you know and then we walked around Walmart <laughs> we went to Tops we walked around Tops I got gummies and then we talked to one of my co old co-workers about all the like drama that I've been missing out on and then we went like he refused to take me home because he didn't want to like leave because like he left um well he left yesterday morning to go to South Carolina for like a family vacation 
but like he didn't want to say goodbye because like, he didn't know if he was able to see me on Friday. But we have, um, so I was like, you need to get me home because they're like waiting up for me. He was like, okay. And so he took me home. And then he had work Friday. And then after work, he went home, changed, and then we went to the movies. We saw Boss Baby. It was adorable. And then we went to eat at Ted's. And then we walked around Walmart again. Because there's like nothing else for us to do. And then we went home. But well, we sat in like my driveway for a while. Just like, kind of like saying our goodbyes, like our silent goodbyes. Cause like I was trying to, like I literally started crying a little bit. And I guess it's like I'm getting like all this attention, and then now for like two weeks I'm not gonna get any. Um. He actually asked me out Thursday night. Um, I told him that I wanted to wait until he got back because I didn't want another repeat of Tony. Or like, I say yes, and then like, they go on vacation or whatever, and then they just like, peace out. So, and he said that he was okay with that. I mean, um, I talked to all my friends about this, like, and my old co-worker, they all say to say yes, because they see how happy I am with him. They see how he treats me, which is, like, better than any of my exes. Um, they can tell, like, well, my co-worker can tell by the way he looks at me that, like, he really likes me. Um, I mean, he was, like, already, like, bragging about me on Snapchat, so, like, that's new, because, like, no one's, like, really bragged about me before, so. I don't know. I will let you guys know what happened, because... Yeah, so he is in South Carolina, you know, and I'm like, meh. So therefore, I'll be posting more videos, well, recording more videos. Um, he said that he would do videos with me. I'm excited about that. Um, we're gonna do some, like, trial ones to see how comfortable he will be. Um, he knows a bunch of YouTubers, though. So, um... He said that he will, like, link me up with them, so this, you know, you might see some, like, new faces on here, um, I was like, do you want to do a cast with me? He's like, well, I know some YouTubers that game that, like, I'm like, I don't want Sony who's better than me, because they're gonna make me even more, like, let look more of a shittier player than I already am, like, I'm already a shitty, like, video game player, but if I link up with someone who's, like, almost pro at this, like, it's just not always gonna be pathetic, but, I don't know, like, um, we plan to go to, he wants me to go to UBCon with him at the end of this month, so, and a bunch of them are gonna be there, so we will see, I guess this would be, like, time for me to, like, do, like, networking, I guess, um, for this channel, or my gaming channel, I don't know, I think I want to just boost this one up. I have this as my all-around channel because I've been doing too much beauty stuff and I told myself from the beginning that I don't want this just to be a strictly beauty channel so we will see um I will try to vlog from UBCon um I'm excited because like I've never been to UBCon um I don't know what I'm going as because he kind of like sprung it on me last minute and I have like two weeks to do something, so I'm not going to hand make anything, no, like, I want to save that for Buffalo Comic Con, and the funny thing is, we were at Comic Con, like, Buffalo Comic Con, the same, at the same time, like, the same day, probably, like, the same day, and we probably, like, looked at each other, and didn't, like, or checking each other out, and we didn't, like, fucking realize it, because we're both shy as shit, so we weren't going to say anything. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking about, cause like I have a Pikachu costume, but I'm like, I don't know, but I'm thinking about just ordering like the Sweet Pea costume from Sucker Punch from Amazon and just going as that. And then for Comic-Con, the Buffalo Comic-Con, I'll just 
make the costume and I just have this for Halloween. I don't know. Or just wear this and say that I made it. They don't fucking know. Alright. So, that's that of this. So, until next time. Bye, guys.